Hi everyone, Trevor here. I'm going to go over how to disable your Windows updates on your Windows 10 Pro systems. So we're going to start by going into the Services app and we're going to run that as Administrator. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go find the Windows Update Service and we are going to stop it and disable it. Hit apply, hit OK. And now we're going to want to disable this Windows Update Medic Service, which will re-enable Windows Updates if it can't update for whatever reason. So to do that, we're going to make a registry entry. So I'm just going to open up RegEdit. So I'm going to want to go to HKey Local Machine System Current Control Set Services and I want to find WAAS Medic Service. So what I want to do now is find the start entry in the registry. And I want to change its value from 3 to 4. And this will disable the Windows Update Medic service on reboot, of course. Now, I want to go ahead and make a couple other changes in the registry before I reboot. So now I'm going to go and make a couple more registry entry changes so that we can ensure our Windows updates don't get uh, pushed through. So I want to go to HKey Local Machine Sys Software Policies Microsoft and Windows. Now here, I want to right click on the Windows folder and create a entry that is Windows Update. Key entry, Windows Update. And now here, I want to create a, another key. I'm going to call it AU, and then I'm going to create a new D word value, and I'm going to call it no auto update, and change its value from 0 to 1. And now finally, there's one more I want to do. I want to go to HP Local Machine Software Policies I want to find Microsoft Windows and I want to create a new key option called Windows Update Now I want to create a subkey called AU. Then I want to create a value, a D word 32, called AU options. And then I want to change the value to 2, which basically is manual uh, install and update for Windows updates if it were to try and get them. And now that that's all done, we'll reboot and we will verify that our Windows updates have been disabled.
Okay, our system is all booted up here. I'm going to go to Task Manager and then go to Services and verify that Windows Update service is not running along with the Windows Service Medic service. Just have to wait for the computer here. Hey, just waiting for the services to load. Let's go find Windows Update and we can see that the Windows Update and the Windows Update Medic service have been disabled. So now we'll go to our settings. And we'll find our updates. And we'll verify that that is disabled. This will just take a second. The machine's running slow. So we see that we have a Windows 11 notice and let's actually go check for updates. And here we should uh, error out when we go to check here. So here we are, we're trying to check. And you can see here, Windows Update service is not running. We can run the troubleshooter to try fix it, but with the uh, Windows Update service medic not running, uh, that should fail. So as of right now, we have disabled our Windows updates as they won't run. And just for good measure, we'll just make some group policy edits. Uh, this is the pro version of Windows, so we do have access to group policy. So we'll go to, to the administration templates, Windows components, Windows update, and we want to configure automatic updates. And we want to disable that. As before, if we disable this setting, all updates must be downloaded and installed manually. So we'll just hit apply, hit OK. And I want to also configure the allow immediate install. And I want to set that to disabled. And hit apply. Now the configure automatic updates policy, uh, should, this policy should have no effect. But in case something changes and that gets changed, we want to make sure that we have uh, another way to make it more difficult for it to update. If somehow updates were to be enabled. Anyway, I hope you found this tutorial useful. Uh, disabling Windows 10 updates on Windows 10 Pro. If you like this information, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time.